We're back. Uh, there's where we're gonna camp. So discouraging. Uh, Today I woke up um, with womanly problems, so I'm feeling terrible. We left Ledor this morning and um, yeah, back on trail for a hundred mile section. There are hundreds of butterflies. Just everywhere. It's so magical. I don't know how many miles we've gone. Yeah. We're climbing Elk Mountain. This is our first 10,000 foot climb. It was like eight miles of climbing and a uh, 12 mile water carry thing. I'm really dying. I'm not doing well. I'm so tired. I almost threw up earlier. <laughs> All right, we are gonna make snow cones and then summit Elk Mountain. So I'm gonna make it with this dull tropical splash drink mix. It's not quite a snow cone, but it is a nice cold beverage. Let's try it. Hmm, it tastes interesting. Hmm. The trail doesn't actually go up here. We did the extra bonus miles to get to the top. So this is like 10,000 something feet and on the state line. Yeah. Did that one say how many feet it was? Then it's 10,177. Cool. There's a spring. Um, this is our first water in 12 miles, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks good. For lunch, I packed out a turkey sandwich from the gas station. And some Lay's. Some ice cold spring water. This section from Ledor to Lima is extremely exposed. And there is a ton of elevation gain. Still climbing. Oh. Are you not getting any? No. Oh. It's point three from trail. Just walk to get here. There's also a ton of longer water carries with water being off trail. Their ears are so big. They're so cute. <laughs> we thought the lake was alive for a second, but we found it. And their friends are over right there. It looks swimmable. Oh. 
Hello. <laughs> we finally have arrived. <laughs> is beautiful. I'm sorry guys, I dropped the ball today. I did not film very much. Oh, I did fall on my butt earlier because of steepness. But today was just a tough day. Cramping, periods. Um, yeah. Just uh, one of those days you just gotta put your head down and hike. We got through it, we did a marathon today, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna rinse off in this lake and pass out because I'm cramping and I'm so tired. Feet are dirty. Oh, oh fish, fish just jumped. Water is really nice. Good morning, everyone. I feel a lot better than yesterday. Last night we camped at Morrison Lake. It was beautiful. Bugs weren't terrible. Had almost a full moon. Beautiful sunrise. And today we have like 29 miles that we're gonna try to get done. This section between Ledor and Lima, all exposed. I mean, very little tree cover, mostly walking like dirt roads. Um, we were so blessed yesterday. So um, we started, Cyquest and I started at like 10. Um, the others went out at like eight, but uh, we're not morning people, so. And I was not feeling good, I was cramping yesterday, but it worked out because as soon as we got on the trail, some clouds started blowing in and we basically had like an a entirely overcast day which is such a blessing from the Lord I was praying the whole time because I was not did not know how I was gonna do 26 miles yesterday film how I did and I feel like that was an answer to my prayers there was a lot of climbing yesterday it was probably over 6,000 feet there's over 6,000 feet of climbing today as well. Pretty section though. What do you got? We got a herd of elk. Oh uh, my gosh, they're so majestic. Hi. Wow. Oh. Hey guys, they're stopping for a picture.
these are the worst tortillas known to man. They're basically like paper towels like that. Just disintegrating in my bag. It's freaking 12 ounces worth of crap. All right, we just finished lunch. And before lunch, we finished most of the climbing, but we actually have a 500 something climb coming up. Still 500 feet climbing. I don't know, whatever. All we do is climb, can't keep up with them. But uh, after that we have, it's like 10 to the lake that we're gonna camp at tonight. So we are entering a section of trail today where you don't actually see a trail. You're just following like posts and Karens and stuff and then also your maps. And I almost just went the wrong way. So I don't have to pay attention on this section. We're just traversing through all these, this. So yeah. Fun CD th CDT things. Yep, this is the trail. If you don't see it anywhere, you just follow the arrow on your GPS or your compass. And there's so many like fake trails that you have to watch out for that are just like game trails that you can get off of. Oh boy. I stopped to get water at the last source, so my people are all the way up there. So I'm just kind of like looking over the mountains and walking towards them and also looking at my maps. But it is pretty out here. I wish I could have captured on camera how much climbing we actually did, but like video just doesn't do it justice. I mean, just imagine we basically just went straight up a mountain like that. No trail, just straight up. And it was honestly so fun. Like this is incredible. I'm loving this so incredibly much. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. No words, I don't have any words. This was so wild. We walked so far. We still have not seen any civilization. This is barely a bridge. That's a piece of plywood. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at our bridge. It's a nice bridge. <laughs> Thanks, CDT. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, he's got like a stinger. That's terrifying. We've been on this never ending road walk to the lake. And it's been going up. And now we are filtering some cow poop water. There's just cow poop and bones everywhere here. That is Dead Man's Lake where we will be camping. Looks pretty nice. There's nowhere to camp on the side of this lake. So we have to get over there. <sighs> so we need to switch back. At least it smells good. We finally made it Hello. to camp. Where are you? We have a good site right here. Yeah, this How did you get up there? the highway. Oh, but brother. Tent city by the lake. It makes me sleep a lot better. Having Being much, like uh, somewhat clean. clean. Yeah, same. Smile, guys. So in Laidor at the sketchy restaurant, they had this ancient mountain house with the, this is like the very old packaging with the make it offer little sticker. And so I got it for $5 and I'm going to eat it tonight because it doesn't expire till 2048. The old Tammy mountain house, the vintage mountain house. That's like you know when you see this mountain house like this is oldest. Yeah, this is what they were making in like 2010. Mmm, 20-year-old backpacking meal. Oh, look! There's a hole in this mountain house where the sticker was! You gotta be kidding me! I am suing the silver silver dollar. Whatever! Oh! 